What's going on, everybody? This is Broken Games HDR, and today is Last of Us Day, the day in the Last of Us universe where the first sign of the cordyceps infection begins to spread by, I guess you can call it, patient zero. Now, it was originally called Outbreak Day, but due to the fact that we went through our own pandemic and Naughty Dog wanted to be a little bit more sensitive about the matter, they changed the name to Last of Us Day. Now, usually I don't get excited about Last of Us Day because in the past they haven't really revealed or shown us anything to be excited for. But about 30 minutes ago, they dropped the official trailer for The Last of Us HBO TV show, which is premiering in 2023. So in this video, I'm going to break down everything in this trailer. And when the official TV show comes out, I plan to do a breakdown of every episode. I feel like this is a game that I know very well. So I feel like I'm qualified to break it down. Um, I've obviously beaten the game multiple times, the original, the remaster and, and, and the remake. And uh, I feel like who better than me to do it, right? So we're going to uh, start this trailer. I have watched it already, but I'm gonna break down um, everything we see. So I am gonna be stopping and starting and analyzing everything in the trailer. Uh, so let's get going. All right. So real quick, here we have Joel just walking through the town where we would uh, uh, see him at the be beginning of the game um, after, you know, the uh, the infection has started to spread. And then uh, we start to see similar signs that we actually see in the video game um, that Fedra put up. Fedra is the uh, pretty much the U.S. government, the U.S. military uh, in the game, who are very heavy-handed um, and establish curfews for uh, for all the all the citizens, and they set up checkpoints and uh, in attempts to kind of stop the infection from spreading and at least keep uh, the citizens safe that are in these certain towns. So. Yeah, pretty much they're extremely uh, heavy-handed U.S. military um, that hand out rations also. Like I said, they set up this curfew. Uh, they look for signs of infection. So, yeah, that's pretty much the US, what the U.S. Uh, uh, military turned into uh, post-infection uh, about 20 years after. The roses have faded, there's frost. So here we see um, some U.S. military workers, Fedra, uh, watching some citizens paint over the uh, Firefly sign. Uh, as we know, the Fireflies are a freedom fighting freedom fighting group in the um, in the Last of Us universe uh, that go against the U.S. military's control, and um, you know they just have a different philosophy and uh, a different approach to how, uh, you know, this infection and this uh, pandemic should be should be dealt with. They have a lot of different philosophies. So they they're freedom fighters who go against the U.S. U.S. militaries. And a lot of people uh, do decide uh, to join this faction. So their symbol is getting painted over right now. Did my door. And I'm going to get into, you know, when these episodes start to come out in 2023, I obviously will get deeper into what all the different factions are um, in The Last of Us, like the Fireflies, the U.S. military, the cannibals. Because when I played, you know, the remake, I realized there were a lot more groups and factions in the original game than I than when I first realized. Of course, in The Last of Us Part Two, they add a a bunch more um, a group, like maybe what is it, maybe four, four or five, um, which I I always give them credit for creating this great universe and and exploring in in the situation of, of of a you know a pandemic post-apocalyptic world how exactly would humans behave what type of groups would they create so i love the fact that they explore that and in this scene we see the watch that sarah by the way spoilers obviously this is a breakdown video by somebody who beat the game so we see the watch that sarah gave joel on his birthday um which is also outbreak day pretty much and you could see it has a uh, it's cracked but it, uh, because it has a bullet because a bullet hit it as as we know 
and uh, because we know what happens in regards to that. Um, I feel like I'm trying to tread around spoiling everything, even though uh, I should be free to speak on this, because if you're watching this, I assume you beat the game. But I'm still trying to be a little bit, uh, I guess, nice and considerate. So let's keep going. The birds in the morning don't sing anymore. So this is a uh, known Firefly quote. When you're lost in the darkness, I believe it's look for the light. Um, and this is one of the, I guess you can call it propaganda, um, that the Fireflies write a lot. Uh, along with their logo of the Firefly, they write, when you're lost in the darkness, look for the light. So um, just some Firefly propaganda. The grass in the valley is starting to die. So this looks like Ellie, and it seems like she was, I think I could go back. It seems like she was chained up. I don't remember Ellie ever being being chained up in a in a scene in the in the game for any reason the grass because those are definitely her shoes she always wears these like red converses um but don't remember her ever being like chained up for anything in the valley is starting to die and out in the dark so this is a federal checkpoint okay so this scene looks like Okay, so that's this is the first uh, scene we get to see Tess, Joel, and Ellie together, um, and this seems to be the part where they're escaping um, from, uh, or rather, hiding from from Fedra right before they get to the the uh, the building, um, the rundown building that's kind of falling apart uh, and going through the tunnels. That seems to be uh, this part. Right. The darkness. Uh, okay, where, yeah, this seems to be, this is right after, this seems to be on the same path, um, where they're, they're on their way to the building that's kind of falling apart. Yeah, that seems to, and they're hiding from all the, the Fe Fedra officers. This is falling, yep. the sky has turned gray. So I'm not sure what this is. Uh, so we see a guy looking at four TVs and... I'm like, could this possibly, it kind of looks like Bill's hair. And you know, Bill is a very paranoid individual who sets up traps, watches his town, uh, and doesn't trust anybody. So he's, Bill seems like he, this could be Bill because he's very obsessive. But I'm not sure because this isn't necessarily a scene straight out of, out of the game or anything. A hound in the distance is starting to fade. Okay, so we get a good look at um, Bella Ramsey as Ellie here. And one of the biggest criticisms I have for uh, Bella Ramsey is she doesn't really look like Ellie. They do her, they do her hair in a way that it's the same like hairstyle that Ellie has, but she just doesn't, she just lacks the, the same facial features that Ellie has. And I always, it's my belief that part of playing a role is looking the role. So the viewer who knows the reference material can be fully immersed and you're not jarred or like thrown off by a character not looking like the original. Um, and I'm not sure if she can also pull off the acting as Ellie. Ellie has a certain snarky attitude and just a certain personality. So we will see. Okay, so here's Tess. Uh, yeah, Tess, Joel, and, and Ellie. And this looks to be the museum. Um, yeah, the, when they go through the, uh, go through the, the building, uh, they escape from the federal officers. Just working out the timeline in my head of beating this game so many times. Yeah. And then you get to and you get to the museum and you can see it's it's most likely the museum because of this glass case. And uh, you can see this musket, this really old looking gun. It looks like it looks like a musket. So it's obviously uh, a museum because it has all these old antiques in there. And. I'm trying to remember because there is a point where they get separated, right? Where Joel gets separated from Tess and Ellie um, in the in the museum. So this might be before that. 
and uh, this is our first um, look at a clicker, not a clear look at a at a clicker. I think they might have shown a clicker in, in the teaser trailer that we in a scissor world that we saw saw before this. So we see the we hear the clicker better than we see it um, as it's using its echolocation because that's how clickers uh, you know find their their prey or their targets and their victims uh, because the fungus from the cordyceps has grown so much at this point that they they're completely blind. Um, so we know the the evolution of the cordyceps uh, infection and, and the fungus. You start out as a runner, you still have your vision, then you become stalker is after that. And then, uh, you know, the runners and the stalkers can still see the, the, uh, the clickers click, hence their name, and use echolocation to find, uh, to find their targets because they're completely blind, as we know. And they have this, just, and that's, that's one of the key things they have to do in this show, and this sounds great, that, that airy and uncomfortable feeling of being near a clicker because they like do this like little weird clicking as we know but also that little that little snarl that little growl that they do also and they like they're very twitchy okay um not so this seems to be a little bit further um winter obviously uh when winter is around the time when they get to the dam no winter's winter's after winter's after the dam how 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 do i beat this game so many times but still lose the timeline okay so it it's it's winter um when you take over as ellie after the university but there's never a point where it's snowing that I think you're that I think you're walking over a bridge with Joel and with Joel and Ellie at any point. So this could be something that's, you know, a scene that's not straight from the game either. As we know, they're probably gonna take some liberties uh with this with this TV show. It's not gonna be like one for one, beat for beat, you know, I, I assume. So I'm I'm excited to and that's part of the reason why I why I want to break these uh, the shows, the uh, the episodes down is to see what they do the same, to see what they do different. Um, all the things I noticed that they take straight from the game. So yeah, I don't really recognize this bridge. I don't remember them going over any bridge really in in the first game. Definitely not while it's snowing because the first time I believe, like I said, that it's officially snowing is like the end of the university part where Joel gets hurt and then Ellie has to take over, uh, taking care of him. My man. Okay, so this is Marlene, our first look at Marlene. Um, and this is the actor who actually voice acts Marlene in the game, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this woman right here to her right seems is probably just a just a firefly that she took with her. Um, and uh, Marlene seems to have an injury. Um, looks like a like she was shot in the gut. And this is when this is when they first uh Marlene meets uh Joel and Tess um when they were chasing down uh what was his name Robert? I think it was Robert because he owed them he owed them some guns um but he had sold the guns to uh the fireflies um so this seems to be that part when Joel and Tess first make contact with Marlene and they work out a deal uh to get those guns Me, please don't. Okay, so this seems to be um, Ellie and Riley on a merry-go-round. This part happens in Left Behind, I believe. Not a DLC I'm the biggest fan of, by the way. Uh, I can't, I don't, and I don't really think this girl necessarily looks like uh, Riley either. But um, yeah, this is definitely a part from the, from the Left Behind DLC. Uh, Ellie and Riley were childhood, uh, childhood friends. Um, this is before uh, Ellie meets marlene and and before she's actually uh infected because we as we know ellie is the only individual um in the last of us universe that we actually learn isn't is uh immune the cordyceps are she's she's got bitten uh the cordyceps are growing in her brain but it doesn't harm her um she is immune
And the fact that she's immune kind of sets off all the events in the Last of Us game. So here is the part where Joel is uh, in his hometown and um, he's carrying Sarah. You can still see the watch on his arm. And those look like a whole bunch of uh, newborn runners. And uh, one sits up very fast and takes a quick look at Joel and Sarah and uh, thinks it's time to attack. And it's very interesting. Uh, I have to do a little bit more research on the cordyceps because cordycep, the cordycep in function, uh, infection and the fungus, the, they're, it's not like a zombie who's biting or eating to survive, according to what I know. The, the, the fungus... And its only goal is to just spread and control. It's not about like devouring or eating like your typical stereotypical, I, I guess, zombie um, concept. As far as I understand, it's just about spreading and mind control because it's, the cordyceps infection is based on a real life infection um, that a fungus, for example, you could look up a video the uh, of the infection taking control of an ant and you can actually see uh the fungus growing out of the ant's head and it's very creepy by the way um and it just controls the ant and and makes the ant do everything it wants to do uh which is mainly spreading this is your chance oh that shot okay that that looked like tommy i believe by man. Oh. That's Tess. And that looks like Tommy. Oh, that shot. Brother. And here we get the first official look at Bill. Um, and it it would seem that uh if this is Joel, uh he fell in a trap and in, in some type of trap or hole that uh, Bill made because you know Bill is a very paranoid individual sets up a lot of trap he doesn't trust anybody we know he's great character great character okay hold on I need to back up a little bit a lot happened right there that they try to like fly through you could easily miss it hold on a second trying to Trying to go frame by frame. Okay, don't know what this is. This is a couple at dinner with some wine glasses. Not sure what that is. That doesn't tell us much. Joel is beating the hell out of somebody with his old man's strength. Oh, okay. This looks... This, this seems to be the... Um, this individual looks to be dark skin. I wonder if that's... Uh, if this is the part with Sam and Henry, because there's this part where Joel gets obviously very upset because Sam and Henry abandoned him. Um, so this could be that part. Oh, see, there's a lightning flash that like brightens the face a little bit. I was trying to capture it, but I'm not going to go back. It's probably Sam and Henry. Who is this? I'm not sure who this is. And this is the, uh, it's not a truck, but it's, it's, I guess you could say it's the armored van um, that you come across in the, in, in, this, in the game. And I believe it also had run spray painted on it. And you said everything right. Um, and it's not, th those are not the, uh, the smugglers in, in the armored van. It's the, uh, God damn, what do you call those dudes? Hunters, right. And this is the, uh, everybody running through the town, running from the infected and explosions are going off and all that. Okay, we have uh, Bella Ramsey as Ellie here, also um, shooting a gun while she's running. Uh, I wonder, you know, when and if they're going to follow exactly like, uh, the fact that Ellie doesn't actually get a gun until what, maybe halfway through the game? Joel, because you know, Joel doesn't really trust her with a gun. Joel doesn't really trust a lot of people, but he doesn't put a gun in, her, in their hand 
uh, until um, that's a little bit. That's is that Pittsburgh? After, it's after the outskirts. So I wonder. Okay, this is Joel and Joel and Sarah still running. Okay, let me go back a little bit. Okay, this part is obviously uh, Joel and Ellie being ran off the road uh, by a, uh, a hunter who's obviously faking it and set up an ambush. And this scene, uh, this scene looks to obviously be when um, Ellie kills David, it seems. She's got some blood on her face. Joel looks very concerned. And uh, this seems to be the part after she kills David and she's kind of like shell shocked and and Joel just finds her uh, because he was uh, injured and he runs off to find her. Ooh, and here we get our first. I can't remember in, in the if, if in the tra uh, teaser trailer, they actually um, showed a good shot of it. But here we get to see a good look at the clicker, um, which you can see the. It's very detailed. It's it's glistening. It looks a little bit wet, and you could see the the the, the teeth, the dirty teeth. The jaw is kind of broken up, and the and the fungus is just spreading out of its spreading out of its head, and that fungus is very hardened. So yeah, that's a great shot. Okay. Oh, please understand. Riding on the horse. And there we have it. That's the trailer. So, and yeah, as I said, 2023. Coming to HBO Max. Uh, so, yeah, that trailer was pretty good. Um. I'm a little bit more confident that this uh, that this is going to be a good show. I uh, so that's the breakdown. Um, it's my first time really doing a breakdown for a trailer or TV show. I mean, I don't think it's my first time, but I don't usually do this, especially for TV shows. So let me know uh, if you're interested in me doing uh, you know breakdowns for the uh, TV for the TV show when it starts. I'm going to do it anyway, but I you know. Let me know how I did. Let me know your thoughts. Um, let me know if you're looking forward to the TV show. All right. So I will catch y'all on the next video. Hit the like button. Uh, follow me on Twitter. And um, yeah, hit the notification bell so you can know anytime I upload a video or go live. I will catch y'all on the next video. I'm out of here. Peace.